welcome to the ithrefs gigi podcast and in the previous episode we discussed uh, genetic predisposition of tea and coffee but today uh, we have a very interesting topic with us and i am aditya and uh, i have the pleasure to invite uh, miss sahara here and yeah sahara what's the topic for today's discussion yes so i am sahara saran i am a researcher at uh, ithrive so our today's topic which mm. we will be discussing uh, is the effect of methylene blue mm. in treatment of covid 19 uh what is methylene blue you know like uh, can you can you tell the audience like what exactly is it a natural or synthetic substance what is the history of methylene blue okay so uh, basically uh, methylene blue mm-hmm. is synthetic in nature it was introduced in 1800s mm-hmm. 1800 for uh, and it was used for as a dye Mm-hmm. Uh, in textile industry but later it has been uh, seen that it also has some effect in uh, medical sector so in uh, 1950s it has shown some effect uh, against a disease uh, known as malaria uh, later it has been more investigated and it was seen that uh, it has several other uh, effects also like uh, it is used as uh, antioxidants uh, it has anti cancer effects uh, it is the first uh, synthetic uh antiseptic drug which has been uh, introduced later so initially it's it it was used as a dye uh, mm-hmm. for textile industry but later on uh, more of a research study it has been seen that it has much more uh, you know medical uh, applications too how has it been used in covid 19 during covid 19 in the treatment of covid 19 okay. yeah so uh, there were research studies it, it has been seen so we all know that uh, covid make its entry through ac rece- two receptors uh, right yeah. so it has seen that uh, methylene blue has a tendency to block that entry of virus and thereby further uh, prevent the further spread of uh, virus inside your mm-hmm. body apart from that one of the implication which has been seen in uh, overall uh, covid 19 scenario that patient uh, experiences cytokine a uh, storm in their body that yeah. means there are extensive inflammation in their body uh-huh. because of the synthesis of uh, inflammatory cytokines so it has also been seen that methylene blue plays an important role in reducing the synthesis of those uh, cytokines which mm. will eventually help to prevent uh, excess inflammation mm. in your body so that was uh, one of the striking features which were uh, targeted by methylene blue uh, mm. against covid 19 Uh, also it has also seen that it has played an important role in reducing uh, oxidative stress in your body so in covid 19 there is a chance that your body will undergo oxidative stress for example there will be high production of ros like reactive oxygen species and many more other free radicals so uh, methylene blue has been seen to show a scavenging effect against those uh, molecules also a uh, lot of people didn't do not know this fact that it is such an important yes. uh, compound yeah. substance that is used so like from the indian government what is the view of the indian government on uh, on the role of methylene blue so uh, i have actually didn't find anything that uh, what indian government uh, states its own view uh, for uh, mm. covid uh, methylene blue mm. uh, but there was one case study i would like to uh, mention it was get it was published in uh, times of india mm. uh, there was one doctor uh, in mahat who mm. runs his own hospital and he has used methylene blue in treatment of covid 19 Mm. so it has been seen in first wave he mm. injected methylene blue doses mm. to uh, seven patients and it has seen that mm. uh, those patient had actually not uh, responded to normal medications uh, mm. which were available but mm. they have responded really well uh, for uh, methylene blue with no uh, side effects also mm. later in second wave uh, it has uh, the same doctor has implic- implicated this methylene blue uh, for 200 patients and for his own uh, surprise it was noticed that there was no death because of methylene blue people were completely recovered and even it has noticed one more striking thing is that there was no post covid syndrome in those people who were treated with methylene blue mm. so that was something really good uh, finding which was uh, done by this uh, doctor yeah. right so uh, as we saw it is very beneficial in terms of covid 19 but Uh, does it have any other benefits apart from that there are several studies which has been carried out so mm. there is one disease known as methemoglobinemia in mm. this is a condition in which the concentration of methemoglobin in your blood goes really high mm. and there are symptomatic symptoms such as dizziness loss of uh, memory and uh, some mm-hmm. neurological disorders so this uh, 
a particular methylene blue has been used for that treatment also mm. and fda has themselves approved methylene blue for treatment of methemoglobin uh, apart from that as you already known mentioned mm. that uh, it has neuro uh, effect mm. uh, neuroprotective effect so it has been used uh, in uh, treatment of alzheimers so there is one product uh, name is rember mm. so which has uh, several concentration of methylene blue in it and mm. it plays an important role as a neuroprotector mm. against uh, alzheimer disease yeah apart from that uh, as you all know that mm. uh, it is also um, antifungal and um, antiviral also mm. so during covid-19 cases we have also seen the incidence of black fungi right mm. so it was also used in the treatment of black fungi uh, and it has shown antiviral antifungal effect against it and any other you know we have heard about some neuroprotective effects and nootropic effects of it as well right as i already said that it actually plays as a neuroprotector because it has the capability to scavenge the free radicals mm. so it actually reduces the oxidative stress uh, mm. in your body which makes it a potential mm. candidate as a for a neuroprotector yeah. uh, drug and any effects you can um, tell on like the men mental health of a patient of course it has uh, some uh, good effect on mm. mental health it mm. has shown some good effect like uh, it improves your uh, brain uh, development properties mm. uh, it improves your uh, thinking ability mm. it enhances your mood in mm. uh, overall mm -hmm. apart from that it has also been seen to play an important role in circulating uh, oxygen in your uh, body mm. which will play an important role in uh, energy synthesis mm. so uh, it 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 is known for uh, maintaining the health of mitochondria mm. so you know the electron transport chain yes. which is the main ingredient for energy synthesis right yeah. so in that uh, there are four complexes so mm. which are required for the transfer of electrons which will eventually give rise to atp mm. which is, which is the energy we require mm. so it has been seen that methy methylene blue enhances the uh, ability of these complexes thereby uh, eventually uh, giving uh, effective rise in energy production in your body but uh, when when it comes to you know uh, people like us you know general people that are there right. like uh, can they like uh, self prescribe methylene blue and are there any uh, side effects for methylene blue that that is there that so to be honest uh, in india methylene mm. blue is available just in form of drugs so you mm. really have to uh, go to doctor and then only after doctor prescription you can take mm. it mm. Uh, there is also certain uh, dosage amount which is uh, less than 2 mg per uh, ml mm. uh, which is only implemented mm. and which is considered to be non toxic mm. and uh, apart from that yes this is the concentration mm -hmm. which uh, fda has approved by itself mm -hmm. about this whatever uh, effect it has been mm -hmm. said it has shown some uh, toxic effect mm -hmm. uh, such as uh, it will create uh, oxidative imbalance in your body it mm -hmm. will uh, disturb your mental uh, health yes. uh, on high concentration yeah, yeah. Uh, apart from that it, there is also a sign when several drugs have certain amount of methylene blue in them mm -hmm. so uh, there is a chance that your tongue might get blue in mm. color your urine might get uh, blue bluish in color mm. so those are the effect which can be seen uh, mm -hmm. due to incorporation of methylene blue whatever we discuss right now you know it was you know i got to know a lot of things right now uh, about methylene blue and for the audience we specifically are talking about low dose methylene blue as sahara already explained and whatever we discussed during the podcast right now was purely for research purposes only and do not try to incorporate them uh, into your diet without uh, the advice of your doctor and as she already mentioned that methylene blue supplements are not available in india so uh, please please uh, take the advice of your doctor and go ahead with it and i hope you enjoy today's podcast and please let us know if you want us to discuss any more topics and if you have any suggestions uh, please mention it in the comment box below uh, thank you guys peace out